players in general. He's just super comfortable with the matchup. And then also like just the way that Snake's forced to recover is really sets up Pikachu for just like easy edge guards. Yeah. Being able to like down air the Cypher, just completely destroy it. And then um, it could even like persist through the Cypher and then kill Snake. Yeah, it's really rough. I honestly think it's one of Snake's harder matchups. He's like the perfect way for combos. Pikachu can deal with the grenade camping with the Thunder Gel as well. Um, recovering high is also risky a lot of times because you have to worry about getting caught by like a straight thunder. So uh, we'll see how Puckett can handle this one. He's doing a pretty good job right now, though. That's right. Etzel does connect. And then retreating, retreating back to the stage. Ooh. Oh, goes for that dash attack. Gets blown back by the grenade to up there. That's really good damage and percent coming out from Pelka. That has him trimmed at the ledge here. Going to go for the fourth throw. Maybe you can set up an Akita Trap here. He's done smartly. Delays his recovery. He doesn't cover that roll, though. Man, if he was just right. a little bit more prepared for that, it could have been a free up tilt, but the down yeah. air. And that's what we were talking about earlier. It's just up. the recovery being so bad from Snake with the Cypher, he has to resort to really vertical um, vertical recoveries, and it's just going to set up ESAM for easy edge guards. Yeah, that was a really good down air place, man. He's continuing the pressure, just juggling Snake for all he's worth right now. Really great stuff here coming out from ESAM. And you can see why ESAM was so confident in picking his, his pool against Double Snake. Oh my goodness, he went for the Skull Bash Snake Spike. Wow, no way. 97%. Oh, okay, okay. It was, it was actually very close to killing. <laughs> I think any other character might have been dead. That was a, not as heavy as Snake. Okay, dancing down around. Throw. You're going to see a down throw up tilt. Oh, up tilt. Yeah. He wasn't at the percent where up tilt was guaranteed, so he just went for the forward tilt instead. I mean, Still going to kill. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter. What side of it was? Oh! oh! He's going to be able to make it's it back. Pikachu, though, but dang, that was scary. <laughs> if that was a little bit lower, Pikachu would have died. Man, sometimes you got to go for that. Oh, my goodness. He was holding the grenade, and Esam knew that he would have to do something really quick to get rid of the uh, I feel like even explosion. if he buffered air dodge, it still wouldn't have been quick enough. Yeah, I think he, his best choice there was just throwing it immediately. Oh, oh the was... grenade fell off the stage. The grenade needs to stay on stage for it to get set up for a shield break. Did you see Pelka's recovery? Esam got the down air, and he looked like he was going for the double down air just to secure the game. But Pelka was able to get the phantom footstool and make it back to stage. That's really lucky for him. But uh, right now, Esam is just clutching out all these hits, all these hit confirms. Almost got the jab lock set up, too. Mm. Now, resorting to Thunder Jolt. Oh, yeah, this is. How does, how does Snake approach this? Honestly. He just waits really for the rough. transformation. Yeah, he, he has to just wait, just wait it out, honestly. I'm actually surprised that he got this stage. This seems like an amazing Pikachu stage. Covers the landing with the down smash, and he's way out of there. It's actually really rough to DI that move in this game. Like, I, I know, like back in the old games, you can just SDI that move down and just get out of it, but it's really hard to SDI out of in this game. And, uh, yeah, especially with like SDI being weaker. Yeah. But at the same time, you do know which way you're going to get launched. It's not like it's not unclear about which side, because it's always going to go the way that Pikachu takes it. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Still, it's really strong, though. It, it is strong. It can flat out <laughs> just kill you. Yeah. And from what I was understanding, um, uh, Esam was saying that it's like very easy to just like nair drag down into down smash. If like you're unconfident about going for the up smash, you can always just make the, the call to go for down smash. Man, this is why uh, Esam has such a high opinion of this character. Oh my goodness, he has to go low again. And the C4 was on the stage, so he couldn't even recover with the C4 explosion. He died that at like was, 45. That's crazy. <laughs> Snake's not supposed to die that early. <laughs> those are those are P2%. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why Esam is so confident in this matchup, man. Just demonstrating it over and over. Why he's so good at the Snake matchup. Shots okay. to MVD. Oh, rolls through the F smash. And there's a drag down into up air. Attacking on a little bit of extra damage with the back air. Now Helka just trying to land on the ground. I'm able to land with the back air. Yeah, it's uh, it's also really impressive how smart East Sam is about juggling Snake too. Like he'll get the guaranteed juggle, and then once he's in the range where he can like throw out a C4 or B reverse, he just waits it out. <laughs> That's like really smart because you do. It is better sometimes to just like reset. Oh, oh going so goodness. deep! And yeah, he's coming back. Oh my god, the down air from all the way at the bottom of the stage. That was like bubble down air. That's crazy that he just, he couldn't even see Snake anymore and he still got the down air spike. That's just what it comes down to when you have your map awareness, but uh, back air is going to land for Pelka and I think we saw some variation of a taunt. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be taunting in this situation, <laughs> especially after that down air spike. But hey, Togo's a good player. He's trying to pump himself up, get himself back in this game mentally. But uh, Esam continuing the pressure, and that Thunder co covered every which way he could have gone. Destruction. Jeez, yeah. He looked like he called the Thunder as soon as he saw the directional air dodge. Yeah. Just the way that Pelko was recovering. So Esam, you know, it's just showing just how proficient he is in this matchup. Hey, it's a, this isn't right, man. Esam shouldn't have gotten to pick these Snake players first. <laughs> oh, I think Esam was actually fourth seed? Yeah. He, so was. he actually got the last pick, right? No, well, yes. Yes or and no. no. He got the first, first and the last pick. Yeah, okay. So he gets first pick, and then he gets the last pick. So I guess it actually helped him out. Is he guaranteed got a snake <laughs> that he gets to fight? I mean, then you also have to think about, like, who the other, like, top seeds were. Void, obviously not going to oh, be yeah, a snake. Oh, yeah, yeah. Void <laughs> hates, like, Boy's well, not, I don't know if he hates the snake matchup, but, like, Pichu snake is not fun. So that just freed up, like, at least one extra snake to get put into a pool. And it really worked out in Isan's favor. Oh, man, that back here was clutch. But imagine if Isan got that thunder to connect all the way at the top. It might have just killed off the top. Mm -hmm. so we see a little bit of drill in the forward air. And now s landing for Isan. Going, recovering high. Very smart from Pelka. And using the Nair to make sure that... Oh, oh, the C4 blew up on its own. The timer ran out. And Isan was just in the perfect spot to get blown up by that. Yeah, more taunts coming from Pelka. And now... Esam is on the chase. Jeez, you didn't let him do anything. You're like, nah, you got that lucky stock off of me? You're getting blown back. No <laughs> way you're going to get any extra credit whatsoever. Jeez. Yeah, and I like this that, you know, Puck is still setting up the C4 in the, like, in between him and Esam to try and act as a wall. But Esam doesn't care. He's like, he's like Spider-Man. He just goes through walls, over walls, does not care. Honestly, it's really impressive to see like, someone so comfortable in the snake matchup to where you can even invalidate the grenades. Look at this. Every time he tries to press B and pull out a grenade, he gets blown back <laughs> by a thunder jolt. I mean, even Quick Attack does enough hit just to make Pelka drop the grenade. Oh, he's juking him out here. He thought he could get a grab. He's just drifting back and forth. Okay, so Pelka is starting to set up, but at the same time, uh, Esam not in a position where he needs to approach, so he's just sitting back and checking Thunder Jolt, getting a couple jabs in, right on the C4, but again, not caring. Okay, oh. makes up his recovery, and luckily he gets past that down there. Yeah, using the C4, applying a little bit of pressure on the shield, oh. and then S-Smash does take the stock from across stage. Man, I definitely thought Poco was going to live that one there. Yeah, from being launched from that far away, it looked like that he was going to live. Oh. oh, the unfortunate clank there coming out from Pelka. He needs that up tilt to connect. He's just trying to get these trades in his favor so he can get some closer to kill percent, but not necessarily working out so far. Using an F throw now. Esam trying to recover. Gets back from stage, rolling to the oh. ledge, and a down air does connect. Yeah, getting that clean down air out of shield. Go going for the back throw. The oh my the back goodness. Throws too. Reverse thunder wall covering that up B recovery from Snake. Hit the quick attack up there. Almost gets the snipe, like, the snipe again with the thunder. But Back Esam just floating a little bit too high for that C4 to connect. Oh. Now, oh, the down throw from Pelka. I like that sucker punch. It's like jab one. Yeah. <laughs> it's like pop. So okay, using the Nikita to actually absorb when Thunder Jolt. But now Esam was able to get behind him. Oh, throwing out the forward air. Pelka not able to land it. Now Esam. Esam's chilling. He knows he's in the super usually. Gets out of the falling there down smash. That so probably would kill at 127. Oh, definitely was. Especially with Esam facing the direction of the blast zone. Oh, but he got another kill, but we got to worry about that dash attack. So powerful. I mean, that's just Skull Bash 2.0. Yeah, basically. <laughs> no charge required. Man, these two have so many kill moves in this game. It's crazy. Hey. So, regardless of how the next set goes, it looks like that Pelka will be the third seed coming out from this pool. Yeah, that yeah. means he will have to go through losers in the That's bracket right. coming right. up soon. So now we're going to uh, find out who's going to be the first, first and second seed of the last pool. We'll call it Pool Esam.